Hey everyone, Tragic MTG here uh, to do today a little quick experiment. Um, last week, uh, our friend Rudy uh, did a video where he had a uh, PSA graded card, actually a time twister, um, where he cracked it open. He actually did the the light test on it, and he actually used uh, the light that I sent to him from my spoof video from way back in like May or whatever uh, with the bingo cards, and. Uh, in doing so, he um, he showed up the light test, and he didn't. I, I got to thinking, and I was wondering if he could actually do the light test through the PSA case. Um, so I actually didn't own any PSA graded cards. I sent off for this one, which was one of the cheapest I could find on eBay. It's an abeyance. Uh, it's a reserve list card. It's nothing wrong with it. It was only like fifteen bucks, and I got a unslabbed one here and some others to test out. First off, let me show off. This is Rudy's tool. It's actually uh, a Nebo brand, Little Larry. And it turns out, I didn't even realize it when I sent it to him, it is literally the perfect light for doing the light test on Magic the Gathering cards. When you grab any real Magic the Gathering card and you shine it through there, you can see this is really bright. It shines through nice and white, kind of almost a bluish hue to it. And uh, there are some kind of like artifacts there that you can see. Um, something like this. Uh, on the back it even looks a little more clear on most cards. So we're just going to kind of take a look at some of these cards here. Um, let's check out my time twister because that's what he was, uh, that was the card in question from before. And uh, oh no, this one is not real. How did that happen? So you can see this fake time twister. It's got like a really yellow blotchy that doesn't have any of those like little artifact kind of things to it and um, would be the same for my Black Lotus. Sadly, this is not a real beta Black Lotus. Actually, um, found a set of Power 9 in one of my collection buys, um, but they're all fake. And these are actually kind of a, I have to admit, not the greatest test because these were never really intended to fool anybody. They're kind of like a plasticky finish to them. These are not like the next gen real counterfeits that are coming out, but you can definitely tell that there's a difference in the way that they shine through. Um, need some more verification from the likes of Rudy um, to show off the light test on other uh, fake cards, the newer counterfeit cards. Um, it's Cause this is all I got to go off of before. I had seen uh, Daniel Chang at one point claim that you he, he didn't think you could do the light test through the case. So I actually just want to test that out uh, right now. So I've got a unslabbed abeyance. Let's take a look at what does it look like up close with the nice bright little Larry light here. And it's got that really white, almost bluish look to it with those kind of splotchy artifacts. And then, whoops the back side you know you get kind of the same stuff so I really want to test let's take a look how does it look going through the back of this PSA case and as I kinda of thought you can get this thing to light through and see I think enough of a test there to where you could take this light and test uh, slabbed magic cards and you know this would be great for anyone buying and trading in slabbed cards for some extra verification because you obviously cannot without ruining it take this apart and give it the feel test or the bend test which you would never do with something as high end as a black lotus anyway so I'm just here to say that the little Larry is perfect for that task um, so yeah, um, there you go. Rudy, Daniel, give it a try. Um, I wanna know what you think about that. Um, I know you can get this on like Amazon, eBay, it's like 16, 17 bucks. It's a good light, it's bright. Um, just gonna lastly check, I know my Lion's Eye Diamond is real. Let's just be sure, right? I found this on the channel last year and figured I would just give it the old testeroo here. Looks good to me. I'm happy with that. So, the other thing too is that um, foils 
are a little bit of a different story because you can see and maybe you can't see it's, it's it the foiling really makes it hard um, to verify the light test but you can still see through um, that there's that kind of whitish light I think you actually have a little better luck through the front there um, but yeah the foil actually tones down the light quite a bit and let's do a scorched run just for good measure there we go looks good to me so there you have it Nebo little Larry for all your light testing needs I think is a good idea um, you can do the light test through the PSA case um, let me know what you think down below uh, in the comments um, let me know what you think thanks for watching